We're hearing quite a bit these days about organ and tissue donation, and this month is Be a Donor Month. So do you mind if I ask you a few questions about organ and tissue donation? Oh, for sure. I love talking about it. So you get to help people after they've had a transplant. Yeah. Uh, that must be a real honor uh, and really uh, important work. Maybe speak to us a little bit about uh, why organ and tissue donation is so important. I take care of people after they have their transplant and we see people, they have so many different stories. Uh, they have you know, gone back to work, gone back to school, had babies they never thought they'd be able to have or traveled the world. So people registering and being an organ donor, it really gives a lot of people who have a transplant that second chance at life. I have already registered and I register, I check every year to make sure that's up to date. Awesome. Talk to us a little bit about how people can register to be an organ donor or tissue donor. So it used to be that you got that little paper with your driver's license. You don't have to do any of that anymore. Now it's pretty easy. You just go online. There's a link that you can go to and you just register. It takes a couple of minutes. Right now there's probably about 1,200 people in Ontario alone waiting for a kidney transplant. So it's really important that you do that and that we give people that opportunity if we can. At Unity Health Toronto this year we are having a registration drive. So we're trying to get 1,800 people to go online and either register to be a donor or even just check to make sure that they are registered and that everything is up to date there. So Sarah, tell us a little bit, are there rules around organ and tissue donation? So for example, is there an age limit? Do you have to be related to the recipient? There are no hard rules. There's no age limit. Even if you don't think you're eligible, doesn't matter. Just go ahead and register. When the time comes, they can do an evaluation and decide. Um, if you want to be a living donor, actually you don't have to be related either. Uh, we have people who are friends, co-workers, even anonymous donors, so people that, who just want to donate but don't necessarily have somebody they want to donate to. And actually we do a celebration for those people because they're so valuable and we want to really say thank you for doing this. And this year we're actually tying it in with the 50th anniversary of the transplant program at St. Mike's. Tell us a little bit how we can uh, help you to celebrate. We're having patients tell their stories, staff tell their stories. We're having different events for patients. And you know, really the best way that everybody can help us to celebrate is to register as an organ donor so that we can help other people celebrate with us at the next 50 year anniversary. Congratulations, Congratulations to, to the, the transplant, transplant program, program on our 50th, 50th anniversary. anniversary.